Hey Frag fam, Corbin here again from Northwest Scent. Today I'm bringing you a tag video. Tyler from Simply Fragrances started this video and he tagged me. So Tyler, if you're watching this, I really appreciate it. You guys should go definitely check out his channel. He's a newer reviewer as well. So it would be a, mean a lot to me if you guys would go and give him some support. As far as the topic of the video, it is five calming or relaxing fragrances. So basically fragrances that just put you in a really mellow or calm mindset. <laughs> So if you guys are interested in hearing about my five, please stick around. But first, let's roll that intro. All right, welcome back. So, like I said, five calming or relaxing fragrances. The fragrance I have at the number five spot, I was debating including just because it is discontinued, but if I had not included this fragrance in this video, this would not have been a very accurate video because this is actually one of the most relaxing and just mood enhancing fragrances in my entire collection. It's from Gucci and it's Gucci Porum 2. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a great fragrance. And like I said, it has been discontinued, which is quite a shame. This is one of the best fragrances Gucci has put out. It has a very prominent black tea note, which is honestly the main reason that this is a very calming fragrance. In general, tea is just, you know, a mood enhancer. It kind of mellows people out. This is also has cinnamon in it. There's some violet leaf, bergamot, there's pimento, and there's some tobacco in here as well with a nice white musk in the base. So you get, you get a little bit of a spiciness and a little bit of just kind of a petrol-y vibe from the Violet Leaf, but it's not heavy at all. It's very supportive. This fragrance is definitely centered around the black tea note and then everything else is kind of supportive here. The tobacco leaf is very mellow. It kind of comes across just like a dry leaf tobacco. It's not a cherry or like honey tobacco. It's not heavy or sweet, but it's not harsh or smoky either. This is a very honestly refreshing and just calming fragrance. It's very good for the warmer weather. You can spray it pretty heavy and you're not gonna like nuke people out and you know it's not gonna wear super heavy this is just a great tea fragrance so if you guys are looking for something that's centered around tea this is a great one unfortunately like i said it is quite expensive nowadays so unless you can find this for a really really good deal like under a hundred dollars i wouldn't say it's worth it don't pay the 150 200 people are asking nowadays nonetheless it is still a, fan, a phenomenal fragrance and it's my number five spot so again that was gucci Porum 2. Next, at the number four spot, the fragrance we're talking about, it's from Giorgio Armani, and it's Aqua Di Gio Profumo. So I really hate to bring this fragrance up just because, you know, it's been talked about in basically every top 10 list of most complimented fragrances, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is not a unique fragrance at this point at all, but it has to be in this video just because this is a very nostalgic fragrance for me. And I actually talked about this in a recent video I did called Four Nostalgic Fragrances. And that's the reason that it's calming for me is because of the memories that are attached to this. It puts me in a nice, just calm mindset, takes me back to simpler times. I used to wear the original Aqua Di Gio all throughout high school. And I, that bottle that I had was from like 2006 or seven. It was a very old bottle and I actually don't have it anymore. But the way that bottle smelled is extremely close to how Profumo smells to me. And so because of that, when I smell this fragrance, it just mellows me out, calms me down. Again, it takes me back to those simpler times way back in high school when you know you just didn't have as many cares in the world and life was a lot simpler. So this is a fragrance that I mostly wear nowadays just for those memories and stuff, not really because it's something that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy, but it's a great fragrance. I'm always gonna have this in my collection and this will probably be the only bottle I'll ever need because this is the largest size you can get. So a great, just old school, freshy. It does still smell modern, but to me, again, this is just attached to older memories and it's very calming and relaxing to me because of that. So again, at the number four spot, that was Giorgio Armani's Aqua Di Gio Profumo. At the number three spot, we have a fantastic niche fragrance for this time of year. It was in my top 10 niche spring fragrances for 2021. Also, I recently did a full review for this fragrance, which really shows how much I love this fragrance. It's from Roja Parfums, and it's a midsummer dream. Yeah, guys, this thing is extremely relaxing for me. 
when I smell this fragrance, it literally just takes me out into the woods on a warm spring day where there's sun, um, you know, there's wildlife around. It's just that you get these nice warm gusts of wind kind of blowing through the trees, very calming, very relaxing. That's what this fragrance evokes for me. This has a nice bit of citrus at the top, but it's not overly refreshing and not overly bitter, just enough to make this thing wearable in the springtime. It also has some resins like Elemi and then benzoin as well. So you get a nice little bit of kind of a piney balsamic sweetness from that. There's some rose in here. There is some woodiness. There's a little bit of vanilla as well. So this is a nice blend of different notes and it just comes together to really evoke springtime itself, at least for me again. So this is a very relaxing fragrance. This is something where if I want to be in just an elevated mood or mindset, this is something I'll wear. I tend to only reach for it during springtime and then maybe the summer, but you just have to control your sprays in, in the summertime because of how sweet it is. A fantastic fragrance. If you guys want to check out the full review, I'll put it above. I definitely recommend you guys go watch it. So again, at the number three spot, that was Roja Parfums, A Midsummer Dream. Next at the number two spot, I honestly don't know why I consider this a calming or relaxing fragrance. I just know when I smell it, that's really kind of the mood or mindset it puts me in. It's from Azaro and it's Azaro Pour Elm. So this is your classic barbershop fougere fragrance. You know, it has lavender, it has oak moss. I think there's some tonka bean or cardamom in here, but this has a really unique note of star anise, which you do see a little bit more nowadays in fougeres or barbershop fragrances. But I think this was the one that really started that off and gives it a sweet kind of black licorice smell, a little bit spicy, like I said. This is just a great gentlemanly fragrance. My dad used to wear this. Honestly, I like rocking and I think part of the reason that it is quite calming and relaxing for me is just because of those memories that I have attached to it with my dad during my childhood. So again, it's kind of tied into the whole nostalgia factor, but it is calming and relaxing at the same time. Personally, I love wearing this fragrance. It is just a mood enhancer for me when I wear it. It's kind of a guilty pleasure. I know it's not the most like mass appealing fragrance ever. It does smell a little bit old, but I really don't mind. I love wearing this for me. And again, this is just a really relaxing fragrance for me. So again, at the number two spot, that was a Zaro Porum. And finally at the number one spot, this is a very calming and relaxing fragrance just because it smells like a vacation in a bottle. It is from Tom Ford and it is Soleil Blanc. So like I said, this thing just smells like a vacation in a bottle. And more specifically, it smells like a tropical vacation in a bottle. I used to go to Hawaii almost every year. My dad spent a few years living in Hawaii and all the times I went out there to visit him and just spend time out there, you would always get this kind of, you know, salty sea breeze smell on the ocean. You could smell the coconuts, all the fruits, the, the florals, you know, the, or the flowers out, I should say. And this really just kind of reminds me of all of those different tropical kind of accords blending together. You get a very prominent coconut note here. You also get some tonka bean. There's some citruses, some white florals. There's a little bit of pistachio in here as well, which gives it kind of a creamy, nutty smell to it. Very unique, but familiar at the same time. This does get compared to suntan lotion, which is kind of funny and maybe not the best comparison in, you know, in terms of like, you know, promoting this fragrance. It just doesn't make this fragrance sound very worth it, but I think it, it is quite a great fragrance and it is very, very calming. If you want to smell like you're in Hawaii, you're in the Turks and Caicos, you know, you're in Fiji, somewhere just extremely tropical and relaxing. This is a fragrance that can transport you there absolutely. 100% no doubt a vacation fragrance in a bottle. This is something you guys need. Again, if you just want that mood enhancer, something that's gonna make you feel like you're at the beach. So again, at the number one spot, that was Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Well, there you go. Those are my top five most relaxing fragrances in my collection. Do you guys have any fragrances in your collection that are really relaxing for you? If you do, I'd really like to hear about it down in the comments section below. Additionally, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate dropping a like just to show your support. And then that way more people can see my videos on YouTube. Additionally, if you guys have not already, if you could subscribe and hit the bell notification, that would be fantastic. That way you stay up to date on new videos whenever they get released going forward. But with all that out of the way, that's all I really have for you guys today. So I hope you have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.